Yo, what's up guys? Big Dog Beef here. Now I bet you're wondering, where the hell has that fat bastard been? Well, I'm going to tell you. I have been really, really busy. Um, my daughter is about one and a half now. She's walking, she's getting close to talking. So, I've been spending a lot of time with my family, you know, doing the family things. Of course, I haven't done any videos in a while because I haven't had really much to do topic-wise. Um, you can see you, competition season is pretty much done for a couple of months here until the spring rolls around and better weather comes into play. So that's pretty much where I've been. Um, so we're going to start out my comeback, so to speak, because I actually have a handful of videos that I want to get done and we'll be posting over the next couple of days, a couple of weeks whatever the case may be. The first one I wanted to do is actually a question that came from a subscriber. And I'm going to apologize now, I forget who asked me the question. But the question was, and it was going back to my wet tumbling on a budget, and asked how well that method of tumbling with the, uh, the rotary tumbler, uh, as opposed to like one of the bigger ones, the smaller one basically, how well that works for 223 brass. Honestly, I've never tried it because I don't reload 223, not yet anyway. It's something that's on my plate, not overly concerned about reloading 223. But what I did do is I do have a cache of 223.556 brass. As you can see, I've already uh, deprimed. And this is a nasty looking primer pockets. Gotta be hard to see in there. But uh, this is all range brass that I picked up from my range. Uh, quick recommendation if you guys are ever looking for brass, especially if you're looking for 223, 55, or 556, five, or 40 caliber for the most part, if you belong to a local range, especially an outdoor range, there's a good chance that, well, not a good chance. Okay, let me back this up. If you belong to a local gun club that has an outdoor range, check to see if they allow the local police departments to use the range for qualification and trigger time. If they do, my recommendation is to get there either as they're finishing up or maybe the next day and just let your inner brass rat shine because cops when they're doing all that stuff, when they're doing their qualifications, they don't pick up their brass. They just leave it on the ground. So most of this, with the exception of I think maybe 40 or 50 rounds, is all picked up after uh, the police got done. So there's some nasty looking stuff that may have been sitting for a couple of days. So what we're going to do is we're going to spare you the details of going through and the whole process of tumbling. I've done that in a previous video. I basically want to bring this out because somebody asked me how well does this work on 223. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to go ahead and get this dumped into my uh, tumblers with my stainless steel media. I've got a little more than half a pound uh, in each of these. I just want to split it up because I had more than a pound but I had less than two pounds. So I just split it up. I'm going to go ahead and throw these into the tumbler. Let it go for about three hours, and that's where we'll come back when we're draining out the water so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, and we're back. I was going to do this up in the kitchen, but then I realized i got to take the camera up there, the tripod. Do you really need to see the dirty water? Uh, I will say this before I show you the results. I did alter my cleaning slightly. A little bit different than what I usually do for like pistol brass uh, only because it was getting late so basically I've only got two and a half hours on this tumble and we ran out of dawn so I had to use palm olive the palm olive did not produce uh, the suds that I really thought it would it, it was going to it was similar to, to dawn I was actually a little disappointed maybe I didn't use enough but pretty sure I did so now here are the results of how the what wet tumbling brass on a budget uh, 
works without using one of the thumblers, tumblers, or one of the, the, the really, the big ones or the expensive ones. You know, this is the system that I use, the rock tumbler, dual drum rock tumbler that I got from Harbor Freight and the media and, you know, the stainless steel media and so forth and so on. Here is what 223 looks like after being cleaned. I would love to say I have a piece of brass to compare it to of what it looked like before, but unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I threw out one and now I can't find it in the trash. But, here you go. That is nice and clean. It's probably going to be hard to be see down into the case. I doubt it's going to work, but let's... Yeah, it's not going to work. Um, the primer pockets are not as clean as I'd like them to be. Again, this could be because I, I shorted the time and maybe if I gave it the full three hours instead of two and a half or extended it a little bit more to maybe four hours, then these would be 100% immaculately clean. Did have a couple pieces of brass I thought was interesting. They must have enlarged flash holes because I had uh, media that got doubled up in there. Anyway, there's the answer. How does wet tumbling on a budget work with 223 brass? Here's your answer. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad I can get some videos out for everyone. Again, I apologize. It's taken so long for me to do it. Um, what can I say? Um, stay tuned. I've got a bunch of videos coming up in the uh, the next couple of weeks, and soon, soon enough, we will get out to the range. Uh, it's been too cold to do it. Uh, okay, I'm a big puss. Uh, I try not to go outside when it's cold, if I can avoid it. Anyway, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.